Hey, welcome to my channel. So today's pick a card reading is why are people addicted to you? All right. We're going to see why you may attract people with certain addictive personality traits and how you feed their addiction because I feel like not everybody is addicted to you, but there are certain people who are addicted and I feel like it's not necessarily you that they're addicted to, but there's things that you may have that they feel like they need from you that helps feed their addiction if you know what i'm saying all right and this could be certain positive personality traits that you have or material possessions that you have all right but let's get into it i have three pals for you to choose from today pal one is the black moonstone crystal Two is the clear quartz crystal, and pal three is the red jasper crystal. All right, now I will time stamp each pal and leave it below in the description box. Feel free to choose more than one pal because more than one pal can be for you. Also, what you may not find in one pal, you may find in another pal. So always, always feel free to choose more than one pal. All right. Now, let's get into it. Alright, so for those of you who chose PAL 1, before we take a look at your cards, I will be pulling a few cards from my deck, alright, to see what are some, some of your um, attractive qualities and whatever else that may want to come out of my deck. Alright, so let's get into it. So we have charming, per persuasive, and smooth talker. So, you know, you could be someone who is very charming, all right? Very charming, very persuasive. Someone who is, yeah, a smooth talker. Someone, someone who um, has a way with words, all right? have laugh out loud you may be someone who loves to laugh maybe you laugh often you know you just love to laugh or you love to put us put a smile on other people faces maybe you love to make other people laugh all right maybe you have a very attractive smile as well all right so we have two cards that came out all right the first one, we got natural beauty. So you may be someone who is just naturally, physically attractive, okay? You don't have to do too much. You have a lot of uh, maybe natural, attractive qualities about you, all right? And we have bad boys. So maybe you attract, or maybe you have attract in the past, um, people who were not good for you, all right? People who um, did have their your best interest at heart, okay? People who were bad for you, all right, is what I'm getting with that card, all right? Let me get 
get a couple more cards, Spirit. Now, this is sticking out. So, some of you who chose this palette, you may have facial hair. We got beard, mustache, goatee. So, you may be someone who has facial hair. All right, let's see. Yeah, you may be someone you tend to attract people. And this, this may not be everybody, but, or what I'm getting is with this card, people um, tend to wear a mask around you, or you have tr attracted people in the past who wore a mask around you, okay? You're someone I feel like in order for false people, you know what I mean? In order for them to be around you, they have to put on a facade. They have to wear a mask, all right? Because I feel like you're someone who is very authentic, okay? So in order, if a person is not authentic, not being them true, their true self, in order for them to be around you, they have to, false people, they have to wear masks. They have to put on, you know? They have to act like there's something that they're not in order to be in your company. Because maybe they know that you're not. If you knew who they really was, their true identity is what I'm getting. If you knew their true identity, you wouldn't even have their ass around you anyways. All right, is what I'm getting. <laughs> All right, let me get one more card. I'm going to get one more card, y'all. What's this? Ooh, the whole package. All right. So you're someone who is the whole package or this is how people look at you. Those who get to know you or those who you let in or have been close to you. They may feel like you're the whole package. You know, you got it going on. You know, you may be somebody. I feel like I have a lot of maybe a lot of good qualities. And let me get one more card because I want to um, even things out here <laughs> on both both sides we got four cards over here three over here so i want to even things out to the left all right all right what's this you may be someone who protects your peace you know how to protect your peace you may be someone who's drama free like you just don't have time for the bs the nonsense and some people may know this about you um some people know this about you and maybe this is why they have to wear a mask because they already know if you knew their true identity, you wouldn't even be putting up with them. You know what I mean? Because I feel like you're someone who knows your worth. So you may have got played or, or tricked in the past because it's something about you, the way you carry yourself, I feel like people know like okay it's like you know your worth and people's there are people who are false they know if you knew their true identity you wouldn't even give them the time of day baby so they gotta put on all right so like i said you know, may have gotten you know played in the past um for some of you this could still be going on but i feel like this may be past energy you know where you have dealt with false people or deceptive people um they couldn't be because i feel like you're someone who's very authentic they couldn't be them true selves around you because if they showed their whole hand if they tr showed their true identity they know that you wouldn't even you wouldn't even have gave them the time of day so you have had people who have lied to get in your energy or get in your space or to get with you they have lied about who they really are they pretend okay they may mirror you all right so um <laughs> let's get into your cards okay which is the main energy today you know this is this is the main energy we're about to really get into it and see you know what is it about you now that is addictive addictive or feed these certain people uh addictions okay all right so first card is the four of pentacles okay your tarot card one of your tarot cards i'm doing the tarot cards first and we have the queen of pentacles this is definitely your energy Okay, so you're definitely someone who knows your worth, I feel like, all right? And then your Oracle card is the Denial card, all right? Okay, so let's just get straight into it, um, Power One. 
I feel like people are addicted to you because with the Queen of Pentacles here, you're someone who's very generous, nurturing, caring, and highly attentive to others or those you care about. You have a very warm and welcoming presence. People tend to get attached to you easily, all right? Now, when it comes to your intimate or romantic relationship partners that you have had in the past, I feel like they may have looked for you to take care of them in some type of way, okay? This could be financially, all right, because the Queen of Pentacles is financially stable. Um, so this could be financially, but the Queen of Pentacles is also very um, nurturing as well. So if this wasn't financially, this could have possibly been um, to care for them, um, nurture them, okay? Um, mother them, father them, you know, um, be at their beck and call or just, you know, uh, give them a place to stay and something to eat and, you know, things like that, you know, um, love on them, you know? Um, because I feel like you may sometimes attract people with mommy and daddy issues or codependency issues. With you being this, uh, mature, independent, nurturing, and generous person, those type of people definitely get addicted to you and what you provide for them, okay? So you may have noticed how hard it is for people to detach from you after the relationship is over. With the four of pentacles over here, people get possessive of you, okay? People get stingy with you. You may have noticed when you're in relationships, okay? Certain relationships, certain connections, people are possessive of you. They may want you very stingy, may want you just to themselves, all right? Like I said, this could be past energy, all right? And I feel like this could be any type of relationship that you have had with someone. It doesn't just have to be a romantic relationship. This could be a platonic relationship as well, a friendship or a relative, you know, close relative, you know. Um, it's hard for people to let you go is what I'm getting. Um, pal one, you know. After you cut people off or you walk away from a certain situation or a relationship has ended between you and someone, they're left in denial. It's like, they're like, no, this is not over, okay? I'm getting, I'm picking up some toxic energy as well as like, this is not over until I say it's over. It's not over because I didn't say it was over and I'm not done with you. So you definitely may have been with... um or have in the past attracted people with narcissistic tendencies because it's almost like they're in denial and they're just like, I didn't say this was over, so it's not over, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, you have definitely may have been with possessive people in the past, all right? All right, and maybe you have learned to be a little stingy with yourself, okay? And with who you choose to um, connect with because you have noticed a certain pattern in your life of people that you attracted. So maybe you have learned to be very choosy, all right? Maybe a little bougie, but I'm getting with the Queen of Pentacles, but I'm getting a little choosy with who, you know what I mean? And set your, who I'm going to say set your hearts. But something about maybe you learning in your worth or being very... Selective about who you share yourself with, who you allow in your life. You know, something about you knowing your worth. And some of you, I'm getting maybe you didn't, you know, you didn't always know your worth, but um, you know your worth now. And you're not letting certain people in, you know, you're able to see, you know, beyond the max now that certain people have worn or to get close to you um so you've been very maybe selective about who you let in who you allow in because you know your worth now all right 
but um <laughs> this completes your message all right um i thank you so much for your time if this resonated with you give it a like comment or subscribe all right until next time All right, so for those of you who chose PAL 2, the clear quartz crystal, before we take a look at your cards, I will be pulling a few cards from my deck to see what are some of your attractive qualities and whatever else that may want to come out of my deck. All right, so let's get into it. First card came out is the studious card. It says someone who loves to learn. So you could be someone who loves to learn. All right. I'm also getting that um some people like to study you, okay? And this could be the type of people who are addicted to you. They may like to try to study your moves or something, try to figure you out or something, you know what I mean? sweetheart so you may be someone who's a sweetheart all right and um people are definitely attracted to your sweetheart we also have what came out with that is nice backside so you may be someone who has a very attractive backside all right um this could be your your ass right <laughs> or you know for some of you it could be your back like i'm getting a lot of you have nice a nice posture okay so for the men who chose this pal it could be like your shoulders i feel like something about your shoulders your back all right you have a very nice posture something about when you walk okay um for some of the women who chose this pal doesn't it really doesn't matter what size your ass is i feel like <laughs> this is very attractive um and something about like i said when you walk okay very attractive People may check you out a lot when your back is turned, okay? Or when you're walking away is what I'm getting, all right? You may be someone who takes nice pics as well, all right? We have no contact nor communication. We'll see what that's about once we you know turn your cards over all right but it's possible it's possible that some people some of these people you know or this person that is addicted to you you may have went no contact with all right there, there may be no communication there anymore all right they may not like that either all right let's see Okay, so we have nice features. So you're someone who has a very attractive face, I want to say, you know. Nice features. 
very attractive lips. We got cut off game strong, okay, on top of no contact, no communication. So definitely you definitely have to go you know cut cut a few people off or these you know like i said these are people it could be some people who are addicted to you that you cut off you're no longer in contact with anymore you may be someone who is very stylish tasteful fashionable you know got a nice little style to you all right let me get one card spirit wait a minute okay mm, two cards yeah confirmation you got some attractive lips <laughs> very attractive lips um you may be someone who has nice teeth as well um, you may have a very attractive smell also. For some of you, you may have dimples. You have nice skin. We got radiant skin. For some of you, your melanin be popping, baby. The sun just be glistening on your body. You know what I mean? Um, on the bottom of the deck, we got facial hair. So some of you may have facial hair, be beard, mustache, or goatee or something. On top of the deck, nice breasts or chest. You may have very attractive I don't know if I want to put that. I'm going to leave it in the deck. But anyways, you may have very attractive chest or breasts. Okay. Now, let's just, let's get into these cards over here. All right. Which is the main energy. Okay. We're now we're about to get in, you know, get a little deeper and see what is it that has some people, you know, addicted. You know what I mean? Um, first card, which is one of your tarot cards, is the sun card. Your next tarot card is the Hermit. And last but not least is your Oracle card. It is the Deceit card, all right? So let's just dive right into it, all right, pal two. People are addicted to your energy. <laughs> now you should have known I was gonna say that, baby. Y'all got the Sun card, okay? Main energy, baby. You're someone who has big energy, no doubt about it, all right? I feel like you're someone um, with the sun card who's very bright and vibrant. You radiate positivity wherever you go. I feel like people are naturally drawn to you like a magnet because you're someone who lights up the room and you tend to light up others as well. People feel more alive when you're around, all right? Is why you may have noticed how people gravitate, okay, towards you. Even when you're sitting to yourself or you're just minding your business, it's because you have a very attractive aura that draws people to you. Now, mm, yeah, very magnetizing. Your your energy, your aura, yes, yeah, it's, it's very magnetizing is what I'm getting. Now, when it comes to those who get to know you or those who are close to you or those who have been close to you in the past i feel like people feel a natural high when they're in your energy they feel really good they feel good about themselves and they become more optimistic people feel like anything is possible when they're in your energy your energy tend to rub off on others and yeah because i feel like your energy is very contagious and this is where the addiction comes in because i feel like whenever you pull back your energy okay this big energy of yours whenever you pull back your energy whenever you cut people off look we got to cut people off or um go no contact or no communication or a person no longer has access to your energy, some people start to feel like they need you or they need your energy or they feel like they just got to have you, all right? So I feel like you attract, I'm just going to keep it real with you, but I'm sure you already have realized this by now, you attract a lot of energy vampires or you did in the past. It's why I feel like with the hermit card over here, you may have 
you may have to sometimes go recharge or replenish your energy often or when you're around certain people because this can become very draining is why you may be a introvert or someone who enjoys your solitude and you may have learned not to overgive or overshare when it comes to your energy all right yeah all right so that's what i'm getting okay um but this completes your message this completes your reading I thank you so much for your time. If this resonated with you, give it a like, comment, or subscribe. Until next time. All right, so for those of you who chose pal three, before we get into your cards here, before we take a look at them, I will be pulling a few cards from my deck to see what are some of your attractive qualities and whatever else that may want to come out of my deck, all right? So let's get into it. Okay, that's too many. Sweethearts, all right. So you may be someone who is a sweetheart, someone who has a big heart, someone who's very loving, okay, very caring. We also have next live for you, do you. Opinions on how I'm supposed to live my life or in the dumpster. So you may be someone who you live your life for you. You know, you don't care. You don't love your life for others, others' opinions and stuff, you know? You're someone who's true to yourself, you know? You may be someone who's very authentic, you know? We also have spiritual warrior, prayer warrior. So you may be someone who is spiritual or someone um, uh, I'm getting like, you may be someone who just, you know, you don't give up. You may be someone who pray um, or just, I'm getting very spiritual, okay? I'm also getting with this that you could be someone who's protective as well, protective over those who you love. The fact that I said it on a sweetheart card, you may be someone who's very protective of those close to you or you love and care about is what I'm getting, yeah. You fight for what you love. You stand up for what you love or those you love and care about. Something like that. Or you, you fight for what's right or you stand up for what's right. Yeah, something like that, all right? We got the man with the plan. So you could be someone who is a good problem solver, okay? Also could be someone who's very intelligent is what I'm getting with that card as well. Okay, so we have two cards that flipped over in my deck. Okay, you could have tattoos or piercings, all right? You may not, all right? But if you do, confirmation, all right? Um, and then with that card flipped over was big mad, okay? So, you know, so you could have some people mad or I'm just getting that 
certain people may get mad, you know, um, get upset with you when they no longer can have you or be with you or be around you. You know, something like that is what I'm getting. Those who get addicted to you, maybe when they can't be around you, they can't get your energy or your love or something anymore. Maybe they become very upset and angry. Maybe they're a bit possessive. People could, I'm getting, could possibly get a bit possessive over you, okay? All right. Mm. Because you're the whole package. <laughs> you feel me? You know what I mean? You're probably someone who's beautiful inside and out, you know. You have a lot going on. You know, when the whole package card come out, 10 cent perfect, that lets me know, like, hey, you're someone who has a lot of great qualities, okay? You know, um, a lot of beautiful qualities, you know. A lot of great qualities in one person. Mm-hmm. Because look what we got here that came out. Beauty plus brains equals you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Remember, I did say, you know, we had the man with the playing card came out. Yeah, I knew it was something dealing with your mind. Okay, so you're smart. You're intelligent for sure. Um, but you're physic very physically attractive as well. Okay very physically attractive and we got protect your peace drama free so you may be someone who knows how to protect your peace you may be someone who has healthy boundaries you're not someone who gets into drama or you don't like drama or you try to stay a distance yourself away from drama and those who try to bring drama to your door or, you know what i mean or dramatic toxic relationships you know you may be quick to end those you know you're someone who, yeah, because, wait a minute, where's the card? You live your life for you, so you know how to, you may be someone who's very unbothered um, by others' opinions and things of that, you know what I mean? It's how you, you know, you're someone who protects your peace, you know, because you know how to um, ignore bullshit, you know? Um, so you protect your peace very well. You don't pay attention to outside noise, okay? <laughs> Someone who's very spiritual, I feel like intuitive, you know. Oh, and we have the light goes out after you leave, okay? Ooh. Let me get one more card here. What's this flipped over? You may be someone who's lighthearted, easy going, laid back, you know, pretty chill, pretty go with the flow. Alright. Pretty, you know, someone who goes with the flow. It's, it's hard for somebody to get you out of this right here. You're someone very zen, you know. It's hard for, for people to take you out of, you know, out of your element, you know, out of your zone. You know what I mean? Very hard. Um, on the bottom of the deck, we got nice breasts or chest. So, physically, you could have nice breasts or a nice chest. On top of the deck, we got nice smile. You may be someone who has a very attractive smile as well. And intuitively, I'm getting it's something about your eyes that is very attractive, very dreamy, okay? Very dreamy. That kind of pulls people in or draw people in. Magnetic type of eyes. Something about your eyes, okay? Some people get lost in your eyes. Your eyes are very mesmerizing is what I'm getting, all right? all right so <laughs> let's get into your cards okay which is the main energy of your reading okay now we're about to dive deeper and we're about to see you know what attract these certain type of people to you these you know with these addictive type of personality traits and shit you know <laughs> all right so um let's get into it your first card is the uh oh wait a minute it's the empress okay so it makes sense with the cards that we do have here okay and that's one of your tarot cards and your next tarot card is the seven of cups okay all right that makes sense as well i was feeling that water energy and last but not least is the fulfillment card um and that's your oracle card all right so let's just you know dive right into it pal three all right 
I feel like people most definitely get addicted to your love. No doubt about it. You got the Empress. And then your first card that came out of my deck is the Sweetheart card. So people definitely, some people, get addicted to your love, okay? With the Empress card, you're someone who is very loving, okay? Creative, nurturing, compassionate, with a lot of love to give, all right? And I feel like you're a natural caretaker. You care deeply. You care deeply for others. And you're very generous and loving to the people that are in your life. People tend to fall for you fast. People also tend to feel for you deeply than they do most people. Because they never felt a love so pure genuine unconditional and understanding is what i'm getting i feel like your love awaking feelings in others that they never felt before or they didn't know was there because your love is very healing i also feel like you're everyone's first love okay <laughs> or a lot of people see you as being the one okay wish fulfillment all right um, because you made them feel something they've never felt before. And this causes some people to get addicted. Because when certain people no longer have any access to you anymore, I feel like they go through withdrawal. You may notice certain exes start to bounce around from one person to another after your relationship. It's because they're trying to get that fix. They're trying to get that high that they felt with you or that your love once gave them. I feel like your love has people on cloud nine. <laughs> your love is like a drug to certain people. And they feel like they need it because they never had it, you know? So it, it drives some people crazy, okay? And I feel like these are people who already kind of, you know, ain't got it all, <laughs> you know? But it just makes them even more kind of crazy, you know, because they never had it. So then when they get a little taste of it or a little dose of it, they don't know what to do, especially when you end things with them, you cut them off, you know? This is why people be enraged. Like, I dare you, just mad, you know? Um... Don't let them have had sexual intercourse with you. Like if this was a, a intimate relationship, romantic relationship, and this person has had sex with you before. They sex with you so amazing. All right. Because it's that love, that energy behind it. It's really the energy. Okay. And this could be certain people who have sex addictions, but it's the energy that they get. Okay, from it. Okay. You may have felt drained when you dealt with certain people, okay, before. All right, these types of people. Because it's something about when they have sexual intercourse, which would give them some type of boost. They're taken from you. Some you're yeah, they're draining your life force, these type of people. So you definitely may have dealt with um, narciss uh, narcissistic people or energy vampires, which are the same, all right? Or people with, like, strong narcissistic traits, but it's something that's it's power behind it, all right? <laughs> or that ping pong, all right? And um, because they're pulling from your life force, to be honest, you know what I mean? But yeah, you know, and that that drives them even more crazy or addictive to you, especially when they can't get that from no, you anymore. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, <laughs> um, this completes your reading or this completes your message. If this resonated with you, give it a like, comment or subscribe. All right. I thank you so much for your time. Until next time.